Monsieur Alphonse wants you against the church wall, Mama. <laughs> this is customary. <laughs> That is good. Can I have the bridesmaids behind? <laughs> Can the bridegroom get up? <laughs> Mind your own business. <laughs> I will settle for the bullet. <laughs> Can anyone wriggle anything free? <laughs> Nothing that would be of any use to us. Can you not release the secret Gestapo cutting tool from the false heel of your Gestapo boot? They are at Semenders. <laughs> They'll be back on Thursday. <laughs> this is all the fault of your stupid, piggy-faced general. Next time I see him, I will tell him what you said. Sneak. <laughs> With my keen eye, I have spotted wires running from the clock. My analytical mind tells me that if we interfere with the movement of the hand, we will prevent the detonation. I have managed to undo a knot. I think I could hop over there. Well, get on with it. It's no good. I cannot reach high enough. Stop the big hand with your nose. <laughs> I have to stand on tiptoe. It's not very comfortable. Never mind. It's only for 24 hours. <laughs> Hello, Piggy. <laughs> Von Falkenstaffen, what brings you to my headquarters? Well, we hear you're having a little run-in with the resistance. <laughs> no problem. If they do not produce the airman, I am going to press this plunger, which will blow up the town. <laughs> Isn't that a little severe? My patience has been tried to the limit. We must show these foggy upstarts who are the masters. We must teach them a lesson they will not forget. <laughs> General. In your absence, the colonel has been abducted and is at this very moment sitting on a bomb with Herr Flick and his little assistant, von Schmolhausen. The resistance sent us a note saying that if you proceed with your plan, they will explode all three of them. What is the life of one colonel and a couple of Gestapo officers compared to keeping law and order and subjugating these terrorists that call themselves resistance? The victorious German army has swept across Europe, crushing everything in its path! <laughs> Are we to allow these people to cock snooksies at us? <laughs> that, if the price of final victory is the life of a colonel and a couple of the Star Wars officers, so be it! Yes. Uh, Piggy, old boy, when was the last time you had a holiday? <laughs> Baden Baden, 38. You were both there. We went to a fancy dress ball at the bars. I went to the Tiller's Hum. <laughs> Give me the military hospital. I will, uh, I will settle for the bullet. <laughs> Here is the biscuit. We're not going back to England dressed like this, are we? Helmet and goggles are in the basket. <laughs> How I wash you and I could flew away together, high up in the clots. Could we not stew away together in the biscuit? <laughs> no, is the biscuit. we wee too much. <laughs> we have a bit of a problem. Do 
not worry. We have K in the bedroom. What are you putting me into this bed for? There's nothing the matter with me. Take it easy, old chap. You've been overdoing it. The nurse here will give you a nice little injection, and when you wake up, you'll be the same old piggies that we all know and love. Go away! I do not want an injection. I'm just as sane as you are. <laughs> oh. On second thoughts, nurse, the needle. <laughs> 